There are six people living in this apartment and we all eat a lot of food. So naturally it's very important that we have functioning toilets because we all spew out toxic waste faster than a Cardi B album. And um, you think that, you know, a college apartment that we're paying good money for would have functioning toilets. However, this past week has been one of the most embarrassing, disgusting weeks of my entire life. Poop filled and it, it's solely due to the, the problems we've been having with this toilet. So let me back up a little bit. First day of school, I'm the first one to move in. I decide to mark my territory, much like a dog, not with a poop, but with a pee. All I do is I fill the bowl. You know, I've been drinking water all day. It was move in day. And when I flush, entire bowl fills. Toilet is entirely jammed on the first day. And, you know, we have two toilets, but between the six of us, one cannot, cannot hold us all. So, obviously, this is a very big problem, and the story just gets worse and worse from here. So, when I see that uh, the original toilet is clogged, it's like, oh no, that's, that's, that's bad. However, there are solutions. Uh, the first solution we tried was uh, Drano. If you don't know what Drano is, basically, you're supposed to pour it into clogged stuff and it's supposed to like naturally unclog. So what happened was we poured it in, it flushed, it like barely, it barely flushed. So we were like, okay, let's just pee in it um, and, and not drop any logs yet. And basically we made a work order, um, a work order for the maintenance people to come in and look at our toilet and fix it. Um, but I got greedy, you know, the next day after the, the, the toilet was like kind of fixed, I, I woke up and I just, I had to do what I had to do. You know, the toilet had been flushing, not great, but it had been flushing. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take my chances here and I am going to drop a log. So that's exactly what I did. And lo and behold, as I'm sitting in there, I press ding, <laughs> shoots up like a cannon um the toilet is yet again clogged because of me this time and uh not only that it would be one thing if it was just that however as i'm sitting in the toilet and trying to fix it maintenance i i, I kid you not while i was in the toilet clogging the toilet with my own fecal matter the maintenance people knocked on the door and you know i walk out and i'm like Hey guys, um, so funny story, um, it's entirely broken now, and um, they walk in, and keep in mind, the bowl is still filled with uh, my remains, and I just, I just hear laughing, they laughed at me, literally, I go in my room hiding in shame, and I just see them walk towards the bathroom to try to fix things, and then they just start laughing, so, you know, blah, 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 things go by, and they're like, all right, well, your toilet is fixed. Thank you very much. So I'm like, thank the Lord. We go in, it works fine, life is good. The very next day, the toilet breaks again. It stops flushing again. Can you believe this? And at this point, you know, we're, we're all getting a little bit upset um, because you wanna know why? The second time, it was, it was not such a clean event, you know, um, because as it turns out, I forgot yet again that the toilet was clogged and I dropped yet another monstrosity. And um, so not only was the toilet not working, but it was also entirely filled overnight with my uh, with my um, protein shakes and chicken sandwiches and what and Taco Bell and whatnot. Um, so that kind of stunk up the whole apartment. Um, so we call the maintenance people again. Hi. Hello, um, funny story, yeah, it, it broke again. They claimed to fix it. They're like, oh, you're all good, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then it broke again. So we, we send them another message and we're like, please just fix it. And then they come in the next day while I'm showering. I don't know what it is if I'm, I'm cursed or something, but every time I'm in that bathroom, there's a knock on the door. Maintenance people! And like, I, I was half, my balls were out. It was, it was just not a good thing. I got out of the shower and they're, they're in the bathroom trying to fix the toilet for like a good, a good hour probably. And then eventually, by the end of it, all they do, all they do is like, you still can't use that bathroom. And then they walk out! They walk out. And then the next day, the next day, we get an email. And I'll tell you what this email said. 
we need to install an entirely new toilet. What happened in the with the past residents of this apartment to need an entirely new toilet? They tried to fix it twice. It didn't work. I don't know what's going on if there's a fucking sea monster in, in our pipes, but um, they just literally are unable to fix it. They didn't give us a timetable of when they're going to fix it. So guess what? Over this past week, we have been all six of us sharing one toilet. There have been battles fought. Um, yell, people have yelled at each other, get out of the bathroom, because we only have one functioning bathroom for peeing or shitting, and um, it's just it's just been an unbelievable experience, uh, but yeah, there's no timetable on when this situation is going to be fixed, but all I know is I can't go much longer before I go and have to assert my dominance again, it's just, it's unbelievable to me, so if any of you who are watching this are plumbers, please don't hesitate to email me because uh, we need to get this situation sorted out immediately. But I just thought you, you guys would find that uh, story funny. Um, I don't know. I'm tired of it. I just want to poop in peace. But I guess I can't even shit in peace, as Kodak Black said. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Peace.